All right, so I've zoomed this up a whole bunch. Hopefully you guys can read it. If not, that's okay. We are, um, kinder yeah, kindergarten. We are essentially just going to kind of uh, find things like what is channel one, what is channel two, things of that nature. Um, we will probably do a Bennu image after this. Da, 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 don't start. Oh, this is the list of tables. We don't want the list of tables. No, 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 don't do it. Thank you. Um, time to mark some orcs. Yeah, I feel you there. I feel you there. Um, data, file naming conventions, shh, zug zug. gonna have a lot of tinker on on camera today all right so we're just gonna search for channel four I'm not a just a rock baby I'm a boulder yeah I know socking cats in indeed so well that's not at all what I wanted Spitzer Data Analysis Cookbook. You know, I think we're just going to make up colorization. I think we're just going to add colors. So, let's do Spitzer. Yeah, I didn't check to see how many were, how many images were done this morning at all. And I'm, I'm, I'm afraid, I'm afraid. So here's the IRAC, which I know is the image that we use because it has four, here we go, four wavelengths. There we go. So we'll do that. And that must be each channel. So we want, now we're going to need that freaking, uh, one image not one image that one thing don't don't you dare let's see uh, we're just gonna duplicate the tab move this over and now we want electro magnetic I want spectrum really and we're going to want and see this is infrared So we're looking at near infrared to mid infrared. Hey, good morning, Veronica. I don't think it's gonna. Hey, planetary pan. We had a question about SETI earlier. I don't remember what it was. This is me trying to figure out um, how we should colorize the... Uh... Oh, here we go, here we go. Here, mapping is blue for 3.6 green, orange, and red but we don't know what channel catches what. And that's what I'm running into. See, and here's the filters, but it's still, I don't know what channel is what. Part of me is like, we can just decide how we want it, you know. Wait, here's the spectral response. Which 404 not found. 
Oh my. Oh my. Breakthrough Listen Project, so mostly Green Bank. And Green Bank is in, um... Green Bank is in West Virginia. Da da da, don't, don't start. Don't start. Don't start. I am trying to figure out... Um... I'm trying to figure out what exactly channel 1, channel 2, channel 3, and channel 4 are. On the graph, any idea what the different colors represent? So let me go back to this graph that I had. And um, I think it's it says the plot of the filters response of the IRAC camera on the Spitzer Space Telescope. The plot has been made by myself, Meredith Buqueen which I am so sorry, I know that's French, and I uh, slaughtered it using the spectral response curves um, from IRAC, and I think it's the channels. Because the one image said, let me close this, the one image said here the mapping is blue, green, orange, and red. And the filters right here, so you hear blue or purple, green, orange and red but I don't know which color goes with which channel and I kind of want to get it accurate and that's what I'm trying to figure out right now so I guess what I really need to look for is spectral response response um Oh, well then. Oof, oof, oof. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Okay. I can see the bottom. It looks like it corresponds to wavelength. It does. And here we go. Here's the the separate ones. So, um, here's this whole image. New full array, minimum width, subarray, peak width. So we have... Um, 3.1 to 3.9 for channel 1. Where is... Give me a second while I... I need to clean off my desk again. It's, it's bad. It's bad. So, trusty, invisible post-it note. Do, 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 do. And my not-so-great pen. So, channel 1 is 3.1... 3.9 why why do I torture myself with this pen oh here we go this pen should work better 3.1 to 3.9 come on you can do it pen I can see you're full of ink why do you do this to me will you do it better if I if you're on something else yes 3.1 to 3.9 and then channel 2 there we go this is working better it is 3.9 to 5.1 throws a paper bomb pretzel rocks is just doing its job man um it plays stream safe music for me and the only thing they ask is that if you're not paying for a subscription that you allow it to post to chat what song is playing. And some people like to know that information anyways. So Pretzel's, Pretzel's a pretty neat bot. Um, Larry, Larry Weird says, Dr. Pamela's favorite human sells excellent wood pens at her Etsy store. Speaking of favorite humans, um, mine won't be home till later today. And then I'm not sure if he has any days off. 
Yeah, he has days off later this week. He has my birthday off. Um, because we're gonna go to a brewery. Uh, so four point, it's actually probably 4.9. To 6.1 for channel 3. Um, wrong channel, Paranor. Etsy, yeah. My astro spouse has to leave shortly to photograph the basketball. The basketball game? Happy birthday early. Thank you, Veronica. I will probably stream one more time before my birthday so um oh NBA final oh nice I thought photographing sports events would be fun and I know I could potentially get some access to that but I don't have all the right equipment I would be that geek on campus being like one two yeah Wait, one, two, three, four, five. Well, I kind of screwed that up. Oh well, doesn't matter. I'm close enough. Um, hey, look at me saying it cuts off at 6.1 when it really cuts off at like 6.7 for channel three. And this one's different. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, I don't I don't know why they did that. That's just weird. Um he's a photojournalist, so he has a lot of toys. Cool. I keep going in between being like very agoraphobic to let's go photograph all the things. And it's really nice outside, so I kinda do wanna go and you know, photograph with the uh three hundred and sixty degree camera from campus. One, two um, so that's really like 6.2 instead of 6.0. It doesn't really matter. And then 9.3, we'll say 9.3. Um, but yeah, that's really cool. Oh yeah, Dr. Pamela totally does have planets for sale, doesn't she? Alright, so we figured that out. We got that the way we wanted it to. Close all these other tabs and go back to the Wikipedia page. So pull up this graph again and yeah they have channel 1 as blue and channel 2 is green and channel 3 is orange and channel Four is red, so perfect. Um, no, you do not get banned for that. Um, you do not get banned for that. Sucking cats. Uh, you you do not. It's I find it hilarious though. Um, I find it hilarious the auto mod misbehaved. Um. What was that, Paranor? Yeah, um, I, I don't know how. That's the problem. I don't know how. Um, yeah, and now I've totally lost it. So, yeah, um, yeah, it's, it's gone. The trash can post it off the screen. Um, there we go. Joe says, "LOL." I, I I I was looking for like a way to to delete, and I don't know. <laughs> hey, Joey. Everyone said hi. Oh my! Oh my! All right. So we have blue, and then channel two is green. We spent a lot of time just figuring out what, what thing is one thing. It, it's, it's, I'm amused. 
Um, I'm not the one that does post, so I don't think I can fix it in post. <laughs> Anyways, channel four. <laughs> I preferred the first message. Joey, please don't be a troll. I love you, but now is not the time to be a troll. I love you, really, I do. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Anyway, who wants to see it rain on the dogs? Who wants to see it rain on the dogs? Let's let's make it rain on the dogs, shall we? Shall we? Shall we? Thank you. I don't know if Susie can. Uh, Susie can. Uh, can, uh, can fix it either, but uh, yeah. So anyways, here's the Cheerios. And... And... There we go. We have a Tinker Head popping up. And... Make it rain! Alright. And now, and now to refill the, the Cheerios with the invisible box. I'm just knocking everything over. I'm just knocking everything over. All right. Uh, it's okay, it's okay. I think we're all just kind of processing everything. I'm gonna put the dogs up for a second while I rearrange my screen. So y'all can, you know, enjoy some doggos. I have Cheerios all over my desk now. This is terrible. Um, all right, so let me flip over to the doggos. And, uh, oh, I guess I should take, get rid of that, uh, waiting to start thing, huh? There we go. Flipping over to the doggos. Um, don't worry about it, Guido. Don't worry about it. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. Nothing blew up. Uh, anything that blew up was, was just your imagination. Uh, I figured out what channel is what color, though. So that's cool. Right? 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 That's cool. As we all, you know, tell ourselves that that's cool. Okay. So now I have all my invisible post-it notes ready. And I have more Cheerios ready. Tinker's like, can I get more Cheerios, Mom? What do you have in your mouth? You are the weirdest dog. Um. So how about that space stuff, says, uh, says Sockin' Gets. Um, I don't know what we're doing, but I trust it's cool. It is totally cool. Anything else it really blew up was just for science and provided valuable data. Yes, that's a good answer to everything, Q. All right, so what we're doing now, now that I know what channels are what, um, which I will, we're gonna flip back over to what the channels are. So the Spitzer image that I have has four channels, right? And I didn't know what they were until now, what color they should be assigned because when Spitzer images and Hubble images and all space telescope data images, and I kind of want to say all, you know, astronomy images, but I, I'm, I feel more secure in saying that images from Spitzer and Hubble, they come down in grayscale, right? They don't come down in color. So what we will see in a second is as soon as I can get everything all worked out, what we will see is this. This is a grayscale image. It's not pretty, it's not colorful. And now that I know what color goes with which channel, we can go through and start assigning colors. So this image has been stacked. Make this full screen. Apparently it is full screen. Um, DPI says, the vast majority of optical telescope data comes in grayscale with filter descriptions. So, yeah, that. Um, so I'm gonna rearrange the channels and everything is already aligned. I know it looks funny. It's, it's just the nature of it is. And here are like, what you see right now, this is channel four. This is channel four and channel three. That's channel three only. This is channel two and channel three. It's channel two only. And this is channel one and channel two. And this is channel one only. And I'm gonna turn on all layers again and that brings everything back up. So I think everything 
is aligned as good as it's going to get. We kind of futzed with that last time, and if it's not perfectly aligned, it's not perfectly aligned. But all right. So, um, image. That, that, that. Sorry for all the woofing. I, I think I think I fixed it. I was trying to just toggle mute. Um, where is where is this? Okay. So yeah, sorry. I don't know what's going on outside. I thought any exe stopped working for a moment. Yeah, I did too. I, that's the problem with having all four of them here is that if one gets going, all four of them get going. And instead of just being like, here, let me throw Cheerios to make you quiet. Like one's on the back of the couch. One's walking away. One's on camera. I don't know where the fourth dog is. Ah, don't, don't, don't you dare start. Here, have some Cheerios and be quiet. So... Oh, oh, I think Annie performed the Fluttershy stare on the dogs. I kind of did. Um, all right. Hey, Tinker, Puck, can you speak? Tinker, speak? Speak, come on, speak. Oof. Puck, speak? All right, they're acting like they want to. <coughs> there we go. Hey, 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 hey. One was enough. One was enough. All right, so Tinker says thank you. Puck's trying to say thank you. Here's the Cheerios. And make it rain. All right. Thank you, Veronica. Uh, Astro YYZ says, I guess Kitty is hiding. Kitty was fed at least twice this morning. So, yeah. Um, can I label? I can label. So we're going to label this with blue. And I guess label this with green and then label this with orange so um michael yeah i saw your question earlier no they did not give me um rgb component values they just said this is this this is this this is this so we're just going to pick something that looks good so i need to take the whole image and right now it's grayscale we're going to turn it to rgb color we do not want to merge the layers. And I labeled the layers, so now we're going to do image new adjustment layer. And we are going to do, shoot, what is it? Hue saturation. And we want to use the previous layer, create a clipping mask, and go. And then we're gonna do this real quick for all of them. And new adjustment layer, hue saturation. And RGB and orange, yeah. Um, it is. Can we buy printed copies of the painting after class? No, um, there's been some talk about me posting them somewhere, but I don't know where to post them. I'm thinking Imgur is the best bet. I've thought about posting what I've done on Reddit. But the problem with that is, is I don't know what the best subreddit for this is. Um, so I can post them on Imgur, but I don't know, because I'd also like to kind of share, you know, what I'm doing on Reddit, but I don't know if there's a good place on Reddit to do this. 
hue saturation. Hey, uh, boneless big heart. Some of these images end up being really, really big, uh, socking cats. And are you on the Discord? And are you have you marked yourself as a member on the Discord? So, um, yeah. Um, and yes, there is indeed a Hubble palette. I, I'm guessing this is the Spitzer palette. Um, okay. So if you joined and you did the agree command, uh, then you're a member. You've, you've marked yourself with the member role. Uh, we have a photo on Slack chat for the original work. I think that qualifies. It, it does. Um, I would also say it falls under space art for some of this. So we're going to turn off all these other layers. We're going to focus on this one. So we're going to click colorize and we're just going to pick a blue. blue, add some saturation. We can fix the saturation later. So we're just going to set it about 80%. I think that's a nice blue. Um, Astro YYZ says, I've been wondering what happens to all the finished images. The finished images just live on my hard drive, which is probably, for some people, the saddest thing ever. <laughs> um, especially the ones that I did like a year ago. Those ones are on the hard drive of my old computer, which have not been backed up anywhere else. I don't have them backed up on the cloud anywhere. That's why I'm thinking about putting them up on Imgur, which, you know, that can be problematic. I don't think I have a Flickr. That would also be another good place to put them. Um, but yeah, no, they, they just live on my hard drive. So there's only one that, um, one's been used for a poster or two that have gotten presented. Um, and another one I use on zoom as my background. So. Yeah, no, I know, and it's terrible because I should have backups, and I, I don't. Um, I just don't. And I know it's, it's, it's bad. So, I know I need to take care of that. Some of, like, doing a cloud backup is a money thing. Doing an external hard drive backup, like, I used to laugh at the fireproof and waterproof hard drives we have at work because when I found them, we were just trying to spend money. And um, now they're like ubiquitous it, at the uh, university in the physics department or in the astronomy, well, astronomy and physics department. But anyways, they're ubiquitous uh, within the teeny tiny astronomy department. They're everywhere. The planetarium has a gazillion of them. I have two sitting near my workstation. I think Dr. Feldmeyer has one or two. Dr. Durrell has one or two. Um, but they're expensive. They're like $300 a hard drive. So, um, yeah, yeah, um, they are definitely $300 a hard drive. So it's expensive and as much as I would like to have it, it's probably just not going to work out that way. So. Yeah, we could invert the final. I could probably make an inverted final image. I like how this is neat. How, you know, one side is blue, one side is green, and the center is kind of cyan right now. So, uh, it might be. Um, I don't know if it's kosher to put these up on our merch page. And then have you order them from there. I would have to look into that because although it's not my data, it is my work. And I know our merch page can print posters, if that makes sense. So yeah. So we're gonna turn off. Ah, 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 ah. Don't, don't start guys. Don't, don't do it. You don't, you don't want to, you don't want to do this, dogs. Trust me, you don't want to do it. 
Um, Let me help you. I know this chair is higher. All right, you are just gonna. We're just gonna do this right now, okay? Can you do this for me? I know, I know, I know. I don't, I don't, I don't want kisses that badly, dog. Oof. Um. Yeah, I'm going to do some. I'm doing. I'm going to eventually do some cropping. I will probably crop after I. After I flatten the image. I know, I know, Puck. If this is what it takes to get you to be quiet. If this is what it takes to get you to be quiet. Larry says, don't look in Tink's eyes. She will steal your soul and your bits. She will steal your money. She will have to talk to the devil. I know, buddy. I know. I know. I know. I know. I know. Life is hard. <laughs> no. Don't do it. Do you want some Cheerios? Are you barking because you want Cheerios? Have some Cheerios. Does Tinker like her new friend? Um, Tinker, Tinker and Baby Girl cuddle together, but I think that, um, I think that's really just because Baby Girl just plops herself down on top of Baby Girl. DPI says, I have yet to find a more exact channel to RGB mapping for Spitzers and named colors. Um, yeah, there, so there's four dogs in the house right now. The one you see on, on the doggy cam is Tinkerbell. The one in my lap is Puck. These are my two dogs. The other one that was on earlier that you may have missed is Baby Girl. Um, I had her on camera and in my lap before we really got started. And the fourth one is the tiny little brown chihuahua and his name is Teddy. But yes, Baby Girl is indeed named Baby Girl. And... She, she tries. She tries to be a good dog. So, now that we've colorized everything, see how, you know, quite frankly, how icky it looks? So now we need to adjust things. And first I'm going to adjust things by making sure the saturation for each of them is set to the same. And it is. And, oh I know, buddy. But yeah, that's the shelter had named was calling her baby girl, and my mom doesn't change dogs' names. So um that's just how it is. So you have screen, 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 screen. I know. So we can try a couple other things. We can try normal, usually. Normal we'd need to fill or change the opacity to like uh Let's do 75%. See how that changes things. So now we're at the really part. Now we're at the part where I'm really just kind of messing around and trying to figure out what makes this look best. And nothing might make this look better. I know, I heard it too. Maybe this week we'll get my scooter, huh? And then I can leave the house like a normal human being. Yeah, this is not doing what I want it to do. Um, looking at the Spitzer page, the images that they're posting are actually describing color mapping per image, so it does not appear that they have some sort of standard palette. Well, that's I was kind of hoping for a standard palette, but apparently they, like you said, they do not, which does indeed make me sad. All right, so that doesn't help. Um, 
I know. No, please don't lick my face. There's a whole bunch of makeup on there. Part of me is like, this is not how I plan to do this stream with a dog in my lap. Especially the biggest dog. Especially the biggest dog. You're cute though. You are cute. You are the goodest dog. Alright, so I'm seeing something about compare those two images. So... Blue, cyan, green, and red, really? All right, so give me one second and I will pull up the... I'll pull up the thing, I know, buddy. Nope, not that one, that one. All right, so this is what um, DPI linked. So this is cat's paw, why do I have... So this is the cat's paw nebula and this is the cat's paw nebula and these are... Okay, so one is Iraq alone, and this is one, two, three channels. So 3.6, um, the 4.5, and the 8, which fits into, hold on, I'm looking at my note. Um, so channel 3 is... I have it like 4.9 to 6.7. So the blue they have is marked as their channel one, that's 3.6 microns, which falls within that uh, range. Channel two is 3.9 to 5.1, and that's what they, you know, had assigned as green on the wiki page. Um, eight microns red, which fits into the channel four. And that is, you know, marked on the wiki page as red. So that's just the IRAC. So this is the MIPS. So I don't know what the MIPS is. Oh, the multi-band imaging photometer. So here they have the colors correspond with blue. All right, cyan. So instead of green, they went with cyan. Um, eight microns they mapped instead of red they mapped that to green and 24 microns which is beyond what Iraq can do they mapped as red so um, that's that's why they look different but that it is neat to see between these two images, the difference is that adding, you know, one other wavelength would, you know, essentially does. Because you don't see the bubbles with just the IRAC, but you add the MIPS to it, which adds another uh, band, that 24 microns, and that's, that's what allows you to see the bubbles. You can kind of see, like here, you can see the void. Let me switch back to this one. You can kind of see the voids, but that's it. Um, perform some serious origami. Eventually I will do origami on stream. Probably not this, probably not a Cosmo Quest stream. A halibut. A halibut, isn't a halibut uh, a, one of those fish that starts off vertical and then ends up horizontal? DPI went for the Python reference over the, oh, over the MRC one. How is halibut a poor man's trout? Is it just because I live in Ohio and, you know, lake trout and river trout are a thing? All right, screw media, Photoshop, <coughs> ah! Be quiet for a second, I'll give you some Cheerios. Um, Michael, do the slash me, and that's how you get your text to be the same color as your name. Me is a holdout over from IRC or an internet relay chat. Um, 
that is uh, essentially allows you to perform an action and it makes it look different. So, okay. Normal doesn't work, so I guess we go back to... Let's try linear dodge, I guess, for all of them. That does not look pretty. At all. Ugh, gross. Yeah, Twitch chat is much better than YouTube chat. YouTube chat, you can't really do a whole lot more. And then do the thing. Um... My, Michael T. Myers says, I didn't use IRC. I didn't get into chatting online until recently. That's fine. Um, I think Twitch actually runs over top of uh, an IRC thing. Yeah, no, we don't have the slap command. Alright, we're just gonna do... We're just gonna do screen. No, nope, not light and screen. Which won't look differently until after we do it to all the channels. So... Alright. Planetary Pan remembers IRC fondly and is old. I used IRC when I was younger, like middle school, high school. And then AIM became popular. We pretend to be non-violent here, yeah. Astro YYZ says, For any amateur astronomers in the room, just received an upcoming major star party with 90% male speakers again. Ugh, ugh. Uh, Planetary Pan asks, Ah, but did you use it 25 years ago? Yes. Maybe. I have to do math to think about how old I was. Yes, I did. Um, I totally did. I, I was on text-based internet at the time. I remember the first webpage I saw with pictures was Eminem and it took forever. <laughs> it took forever for the images to load. Cat! Really, cat. Are you trying to tell me it's about 2 o'clock and I've made, like, no progress? I don't have room on my lap for you and the dog. Okay, fine. Come here. <sighs> yeah, no, I think we should consider Paranormal old first before we call the rest of our, our self old. Planetary fan says, I love hearing the cat. Well, I'm glad somebody likes hearing the cat. Are you trying to tell me it's time to eat again? Alright, Puck. Off. Off. I have a one animal limit. Yeah, a Paranor totally wins the age battle. Alright, so... We technically have eight minutes left. Why are you crawling away? I just want to pet you. He's like, yeah, but I just want food. We have eight minutes left. We have color. We know what colors go with what. Um, I don't want to crop yet because cropping involves making it flat and I want to make it even prettier. So which dog was that? That was just on camera? I think that was baby girl. If she was wearing a harness and was black and tan, that was baby girl. Um, Teddy is hiding somewhere, probably on the couch. Um, yeah. Yeah. Um, hmm. We have color now. It's not pretty color, but we have color now. <sighs> Oof. Okay, so let's see. What other can we do? Can't remember if we do adjustment layer for curves or color balance. 
part of me is like, I think we do this. All right, so here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna save this as it is right now. I know, bless you. Um, so it is today, June 2nd. Do not flat. Save. Oof, oof, oof. Have you edited a paper tape with a manual hole punch? Oh my goodness. No, no, no. I Paper tapes and punch cards were before my time. I know what they are. And then we are going to actually flatten this whole image. And there goes the cat. The cat's like, nope, I'm done. I know. Part of me hesitates to do this. But I think we're gonna flatten the whole image. The whole image, there we go. Um, link layers, flame layers, duplicate. No, flatten, flatten image. All right, we're gonna save this as flat. Shh. You are really gonna be a butt, aren't you? Yes, I did save before. I saved a version that was not flat. I totally saved a version that was not flat. So now we're going to add a different, actually, no, let's crop. Why won't it let me crop? Image trim. I don't know why it won't let me crop or trim. All right, come on. I hit escape. Shh. What are you doing? It literally will not allow me to crop, which I find really weird. But I guess I could rotate everything. I don't really want to rotate it. Um, are you just gonna be on my desk? I first programmed on a basic on a Commodore 64. Um, I did basic, but it wasn't on a Commodore 64. Was not on a Commodore 64. Hi. You're just you're just gonna be my buddy, aren't you? You're just gonna be my buddy. Uh based on transparent pixels. Okay, that didn't do anything. Oh, you wanna what? I bet you I need to do a selection. Look at me screwing up. Now we can do crop. select and then we can select again kind of want to make it square can I make it square I think I can I know buddy Part of me is like, I am so sorry about the cat, but I know some of you are like, yeah, cat! <laughs> and you are just gonna be a cat and be a jerk. You really don't care, do you? Let me see if I can... Well, can I help you? Can you at least sit in front of the camera for everybody? No? Okay. You, you are why I can't have a Saturn V Lego kit. <sighs> I love my cat. I love my cat. I love my cat. Alright, cool. So we've cropped, which is good. And 
<laughs> I love the cat's voice when he sings the blues. He is fun. I think he's just ready. I think he's trying to tell me that he's ready for more food. And I can tell I have a dog under my under my chair. So we'll do curves. And then we'll also do a adjustment layer for color balance. I know, I heard you. We'll do an adjustment layer for levels. And that should do it. Feed me, Seymour. Feed me. Technically speaking, you'd still have the kit, Annie. Uh, I don't understand what that means. I don't understand what that means, DPI. I don't, I don't get it. Alright, so we want a sample for the dark. And we want a sample for the whites. Because technically these stars should be white. That did not do what I wanted it to do. That did not do at all what I wanted it to do. Because the stars should be white. They shouldn't be blue like this. Um, magenta. One PM pumpkin time. Later, Cosmo Quest. Later, Larry. As I try to figure out what is wrong with these images. Shh. Hi. Hello. Are you my new co-host? I think you're my new co-host. Yeah? Are you trying to tell me that you're hungry? Oh, I'd offer you a treat, but we all know what happens when I try to give you a treat on camera. You immediately say, nope, I'm good. Oops. Auto. Oh, that looks even worse. You would get so many viewers with the kitty host. He doesn't like to stay on camera, though. He really doesn't. He likes to, uh... He likes to just kind of, you know, do his own thing. Yeah, I know. You're, you're, hold on, you're, you're, you're gonna cause problems. There you go. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, quit freaking out. He is very insistent on, on the fact that it's time for food, which I am highly amused by. I don't think I'm just making it worse. All right, so I think we're gonna save all of this for next time. Um, because I really don't like how this looks. There's a couple of computer museums, you know, that exist. There really are. All right. See you later, Planetary Pan. Yeah, I think I think I am gonna wrap this up because um under cat peel tech museum five and a quarter three and a half and eight and, and eight eight tractates yeah I think I am gonna wrap this up because it's we've got it colorized I'm not happy with how it's colorized because all of these colors should be adding up to be white in certain spots and they're not like the stars should be white I understand not all the stars are going to be white because not all of them were caught on the different filters. I know, I hear you. 
but it's just not working out. It is pretty. It's I feel like this is this is progress. We've made progress. It just feels incredibly slow compared to, you know, how fast I work on the Hubble images, but this is just um you know, this is part of me learning how to work with Spitzer data. And I know a whole lot more than when I started. So there's that. There's that at least. So I'm going to put up the dog cam. And uh, we're going to close Photoshop. Because even though I didn't make a whole lot of progress, we made progress. It's in color. So yeah, hi. Part of me wants to see if I can get the cat to, to eat a treat on stream. So excuse my reach while I dig. Yeah. Yeah, come on. Because you're you're just gonna be a jerk and do this anyways. Come on. Get up here. Let's just let's just do this. Let's just do this. Yeah, I know. Look what I have. I know you know what this is, and I know you like it. We've been trying for a while now to get you to eat this on stream. Yeah? <gasps> you took a taste! He's like, this is not what I want, Mom. No? He took a taste. There we go. Um, she's doing a debate next Tuesday about the benefit of humans in space. There's a... Wow. There's a lot of benefits of humans in space. Ugh, ugh, ugh. Um. There's. It's how we got memory foam and advances in medicine. And I just. I don't get it. Do you want more? He's like, no, no. I, I, I had. He had one lick of it. So I'm gonna count that as progress. Okay, so that pretty much wraps up today's Science Sunday. I am going to poke around and see if there's anybody I can raid. It looks like Damien uh, Explores is live, which is awesome. Because that'll be nice and soothing, checking out some bird watching. Read a science teacher. Uh, are there science teachers? Oh, wow, Michael. Thank you for the bits. Oh, wow. Come here, Puck. Actually, real quick, we're gonna shower Tinker. So here's the Cheerios. And make it rain! That way you can try to watch both Tinker and Puck. So thank you. Thank you so much, Michael. Really, thank you. And make it rain! I, I would try to get the cat to eat, you know, his treat on stream, but he's a cat and he does what he wants. So I, would, I can tell I have a dog by my feet, so I'm gonna sprinkle Cheerios for the dog at my feet. And I'd throw Cheerios at the cat. Um, I don't know if Dr. Gay will be on later. I don't know if Dr. Pamela will be on later. Um, she'll be on tomorrow for Daily Space. I don't know if she's painting later. Um, let me see if she's active on Discord. I don't know if she's painting later. I don't know if she's doing Asteroid Zen. Um, I don't know if I'll do Asteroid Zen today because I think, um, she is alive because I think I think, um, oops. Here today. Um, his favorite human doesn't open tomorrow, so I think I'm going to spend time with him tonight. 
because he should be home in about an hour and a half and we may or may not go outside and do like yard work which we probably should do yard work i'm waiting for sir strider to answer um i don't think i have it set up so that it notifies when she does her personal stream i probably could set up the 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 um, bot to notify us when she does her personal stream, but so far, nothing. The dogs are looking for Cheerios, and all right, she hasn't answered, so I'm assuming she's away from her computer or involved in a discussion or something. So she's on later, she's on later, she's not, she's not. I know she's feeling better, so she might be on later. So with that, I am not even logged in to Streamlabs. And there goes chat. Chat disappears because I logged into Streamlabs. Go me! Alright, so I'm gonna roll the credits and then we're gonna raid Damien because Damien's doing birds! If you know of a science teacher, uh, sucking cats, yeah, absolutely, tell me, but, um, I, I really, on Brain Bites, our team, the only person I, I see active is Damien, so that's what we're gonna do. All right, so, uh, wall of text time. So this has been production of CosmoQuest, which is part of PSI, um, Planetary Science Institute in Tucson, Arizona. Uh, answer from Dr. Pamela, no streaming later. All right, gotcha. So there's no Dr. Pamela streaming later. Uh, Tucson, Arizona, working in collaboration with Youngstown State University here in Youngstown. It's not so bad outside today, Ohio. Um, we are brought to you by you, so thank you for all of your bits, your donations, your Patreon pledges, your uh, merch purchases, everything. Thank you for all of that. And if you can't afford any of that, that's okay. We understand. One of Another really good way to support us is by giving us a follow, because hey, follows are free, and telling your friends about us. Also, please come hang out and chat with us during rocket launches and Science Sunday and Daily Space and, you know, be like friends too. Uh, we are mapping Bennu, and it's hard and tedious, and I know, and occasionally there are uh, Bennu marking support streams, so to get notified of those, get on our Discord. And yeah. Um, we can mark Bennu together. We need 15 pairs of eyes per image, or 15 sets of eyes, I guess. 15 sets of eyes, 15 people to mark a single image, and we still have 2,000 more to go, and there's still even more coming. Our deadline for that is July 10th. And yeah, I know, it's less than a month, but we can do it. We've all been doing good progress. We can do it. And... I think that's everything we archive on YouTube. Our normal streams are 1 p.m. Eastern, Sunday through Friday. Sunday was, you know, hey, hi, this, Science Sunday. And Monday through Friday is Daily Space, your daily-ish space in astronomy news update. And I think that's all of the wall of text. I really do. So I'm gonna roll the credits and we're gonna do the raid and have a wonderful insert time of day here. And I will see you all soon. Bye.